Welcome to your last day of quadratics. This is it. This is your last day of quadratic functions. And it might be the best day. It's word problems. This might be one of two videos depending on how long I need to explain some of these word problems and break them down for you. This first page is found on page 19 in your second packet. And it's breaking down some of the ways that I could ask you some word problem questions. So let's look at the bottom of this quadratic. So remember, zeros have another name. They're x-intercepts. And typically, you'll have a negative x-intercept and a positive, depending on the word problem. Well, this zero gets thrown out because it's too negative. We're going to be talking about distance and time when we talk about word problems. And distance and time cannot be negative. The positive zero, I can ask you two different questions. When does the object hit the ground? And how long is the object in the air? Both of those are asking the same question. What is the x-intercept? When I want you to solve for a y-intercept, I will typically ask how high off the ground did the object start? What's the launching point? That's asking for an y-intercept, an initial height. My vertex, remember, is a maximum and a minimum. It's the highest or the lowest point on my graph. So at the vertex, if I want to talk about the x value of my vertex, I'm going to ask, when is the object at the max height? If I want to know the y value, I'm going to know how high does that get. So the x value, typically, when you see that word when, that's a time. And how high, that's a height, okay? How far in the object is the, how, sorry, how high is the object after blank seconds? That could be asking for any point along our quadratic equation, and we'll plug in those given seconds um, into that graph's equation. So this breaks down what you can ask. So if you're ever curious, please reference this page to see what part that question is asking you for. All right, let's break down this graph. This graph represents the height of a diver above the water versus the time after the diver jumps off the springboard. Answer the following questions based on the information. So how long did it take the diver to hit the water? How long? That's a time-related question. So if you look at your graph, time is on the x-axis, so it's asking for an x-intercept. So right here is where it lands, where this diver lands. So how long did it take the diver to hit the water? It's going to be 3.5 seconds. How tall was the dive was the diving board? So how tall, that's a height. And that's on the y-axis of my graph here. Well, how tall was the diving board? Well, I'm jumping off of a diving board here. That's going to be my y-intercept. And that looks to be at 25 meters. What's the maximum height reached by the diver? So maximum height, again, when we see this word height, we know we're talking about y values. And if it's the maximum, that's going to be the y value of the vertex. So I'm going to identify the vertex up here. That's the highest point, And that's at 30 meters. Below, I'm not going to read, but let's just take a look at what we could be asking for. This little flow chart here tells you, depending on what your question's asking, is going to be the methodology and what we're going to use to solve. Okay. In standard form, however, we are not going to complete the square unless you remember how to and you love to. We're going to use that opposite of b over 2. All right, I flipped the page over to begin some of our examples. In this first example, it gives you an equation, it describes the situation, 
But what we're always worried about is what the question is asking. What is the height of the object at the time of launch? So height, that's going to be a Y value. And at the time of launch, when we've launched um, this object, that's a Y intercept because that's asking for an initial value, an initial amount. So if we look at the equation that they've given us, they've given us h of x is equal to negative 5x squared plus 20x plus 60. Remember, that's a standard form equation of a line. So in a standard form equation of the line, this is my y-intercept. The c value equals my y-intercept. So at 60 feet is that um, what height of the object at the, what's the height of the object at the time of launch? It's at 60 feet. If it wasn't in standard form, in the standard form, remember we find a y-intercept by substituting zero for x, and then solving. Let's try another example here. The height h and feet of an object above the ground is given by this equation where t is greater than or equal to zero, where t is time in seconds. Remember, time can't be negative. That's why they're putting a, a restriction on it. Find the time it takes for the object to strike the ground. Now, like any word problem, it's very specific on the type of wording, what the wording, what the keywords are in the problem. So here, I see where it strikes the ground, and I see time. Time is an x value. And when I see the word ground, I'm solving for an x-intercept, which tells me I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So go ahead and pause the video and use the quadratic formula to find these x-intercepts. All right, so here's the answer. So when I use this quadratic formula, I find these two answers. When I added my square root, I got negative 1.98. When I subtracted my square root, I got 5.98. Now, it's asking you to find a time it takes for something to strike the ground. Well, time can't be negative, so this is my answer here, the positive version. Because remember, this thing is going up and it's coming down. So at some point here on the y-axis, it got launched at 190 feet, not drawn to scale here, and it's landed here, took about six seconds to hit the ground. So remember, you're picking the positive answers for time. Look at another example. Same, same problem, different type of question. It wants to know the maximum height. Well, that word height tells me I'm finding a y value. And maximum tells me I'm finding the y value of the vertex. Well, I know a little vertex equation. That little vertex equation is x equals the opposite of b over 2a. But notice it says x. I have to find x first. So I'm going to find the time of the maximum first. Okay, You have to find the x first. So let's work with it. The opposite of b, the opposite of a positive 64 is a negative 64, all over 2 times a negative 16. So negative 64 divided by negative 32, that's equal to 2. Okay. So x equals 2 seconds. 
But what are we solving for? We're solving for a y value. So I have to substitute this back into my equation. So I'm going to say h of 2 is equal to negative 16 times 2 squared plus 64 times 2 plus 190. And I get 254 feet. That's the maximum height that this object reaches. As it flies up high in the air, right here, I have this point to 254. At two seconds, I get this high. For more examples, go ahead and play the next video.